Hello again, everyone. This is Randy, your sewing machine man. Today, we're going to take a little bit different tack and an approach here. It's not going to be a sewing machine we're looking at. What we're looking at is uh, one of the items from my collection, which seems to be getting out of hand and I need to trim down a little bit. Going through some stuff here on an extra day and found this thing. And I remember when I got it, how excited I was to get it. It's the uh, Singer Surgical Stitching Instrument. You know, Singer... They were pressed into service during the war, WW2, and uh, they were uh, asked to make uh, a lot of things because they were really good at stuff. They were precise. They made, uh, I guess, the uh, 45 caliber pistol they made at the time uh, was so legendary. Right now they're selling for like $50,000 if you can find one because they were just they were just works of art. So they were surgically precise. So when I say they're surgically precise, here's the proof of it because they were making surgical stitching instruments if uh anybody was a surgeon during uh world war ii korean war uh i mash, i imagine the mash units uh i hope i'm not making that up but i'm guessing out in the field is where this stuff uh you know i've read so much about this before i bought it because i saw things that had singer on it and i thought well if it's got singer on it i gotta have it because it just illustrates the point that I try to make about these machines that I tell people the old classic machines, how they're made to such a standard. Uh, this one, uh, it's a real nice specimen. I looked for this thing and I finally found it. I've been seeing them in private doctor's collections on loan to a museum and stuff like that. But I saw this one for sale and I thought, well, better get it. So I did and it's, it's mine and it's gonna be for sale if anybody wants it. Uh, cool thing about it is it says singer on it you know singer surgical stitching it says singer right there i mean they 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 were into branding their stuff and it's got everything that came with it. it's got all the needles all the different sizes of needles they actually have a bobbin and a bobbin winder which is what this is and of course the instruction book shows you how to wind the bobbin on the winder which is you look at the instructions it shows you how to put it on it's got the little bump there to fit in there too let me get a little bigger so you can see what's going on here a little uh machine bump that goes into the hole to drive it and they show you how to set it into the end and how to wind it it's very involved very precise of course it's singer they didn't leave anything to chance let me bounce it around here all over the place but uh, they did a real precise job of things so when the government said we want you to make things for the war effort uh we want you to do the precision stuff it was just a natural for them to begin to do uh, surgical precision instruments so this thing has everything in it. it's got all the cool little bobbins it's got the cleaner it's got the wrench for working on the spring loaded in and taking out the needle bar it's got all the stuff that was issued with it and, uh, of course, this came in two models. It had the steel handle and the porcelain. I'd have been just as happy with the steel one. It's Bakelite, not porcelain. But uh, I would have been just as happy with the steel. I was just happy to get one because I got stuff that says Singer on it. And if it's old school Singer and it's cool, I was I was one time buying everything I get my hands on. Now I'm not as excited because my kids aren't excited. I'm thinking, well, who am I going to leave this to? They don't want it. So... Maybe there's somebody out there, maybe you have a surgeon in a family, maybe you have a history of somebody who served in a surgeon's tent somewhere saving lives, and this would be a way to commemorate their uh, service. But uh, Singer Surgical Stitching Instrument, uh, it's just in real nice shape. I saw one online today just to do some research. And it was going for just a little more than what I paid for this one. I, I bought this one for 400 bucks. The one online was going for 430 440 something like that. But uh, I'll sell it for 400 bucks. That's what I got in it. Maybe it'll show up in a museum somewhere and it'll get the respect and honor it deserves. You know, it's got the instruction book. Are you kidding me? Someone took good care of that. So is everything that needs to happen to make it work. How to do the stitching. Let's see how many pages we got here. One, two, three, four. All the different types of needles that are available for it. And what to look for, how to do this, how to do that. Stuff way over my head. I'm not a surgeon or would I ever have been. But shows all the parts and everything that's listed. It's all on board here. 
how to clean, how to reassemble, singer service, and of course what else comes with it is this uh, little uh, helpful hint on different needles, how to get them, how to order them, what their stock numbers are. Of course it was singer, they did everything to the nth degree. Ordering needles, go to your singer center and get your, get your needles, singer surgical lance point needles. It's just the coolest thing ever. And if you have a surgeon in the family, a doctor, a historian, somebody who had some sort of a World War II connection to that, uh, it would be right for you to have this. I mean, I've enjoyed it, and I showed it off to some folks, and they're like, you're kidding me. A lot of people have no idea that Singer had such a specific interest in being at the right place at the right time and, and doing stuff like this for our uh, war effort and for our surgeons and for our battle battlefield uh, warriors. And uh, this this kind of illustrates it. So I'm putting up for sale, 400 bucks. I guess about I don't know, 25 dollars for uh, shipping and insurance. And I can put this in a shipment. I don't have to worry about it getting harmed because there's nothing to break. It'll be packed properly and sent. So if somebody out there wants it, that's fine. If not, that's okay too. I'll just hang on to it and uh, let the kids haul it off to Goodwill. <laughs> You know, the stuff, a lot of stuff you're just not in control of. After a while, you just go, well, it's going to be what it's going to be. So if somebody wants it, 400 bucks, 425, uh, 817-223-2551. That's my phone number if you want to call me, 817-223-2551. Email is ransoco, R-A-N-S-E-W-C-O, at sbcglobal.net. If somebody wants it, they'll jump on it. If they don't, I'll have it, all right? Thanks.